but will you still continue to spend on your brand ambassadors you know um, a lot of startups face mm. flack for spending huge amounts on bollywood stars and cricketers and then laying off employees and you have the likes of sachin tendulkar and pv sindhu so as you your brand ambassadors so, you so is that an expense that you want to make yeah. so if you look at our execution right so hmm. we did our first brand marketing campaign in uh, march april may this year with ipl ipl 22 and the spend was very limited we did only hot start and before that we have never done any brand marketing so all of our growth so far has come from word of mouth hmm. so all organic so the kind of quality the kind of experience we are delivering the word of mouth is really very strong and it's just getting even more compounded mm. so the the brand marketing campaign was more about setting the narrative right solving the brand perception the objective was not to solve the growth through that brand marketing campaign right and uh, anyways uh, our financials were very much you know uh, well planned we were already running a very tight ship so just so that means we will still see such an yeah, ads yeah, and sindhu so ads we are hmm. continuing with our brand ambassadors so that means you have enough money in the bank to yeah. do this <laughs> but um, you know neeraj it's interesting that you are sounding optimistic at a time when the used car space the second hand car space is coming under pressure not just in india but globally i mean if you look at public companies like carvana kazu you know their stocks have come down significantly in india car trades stock is you know like below ipo price i think and then you've also seen the pressure at cars 24 where they are you know cutting costs significantly so i mean how spinny insulated when everybody is basically seeing pain so uh, different people were following different business models hmm. and uh, presence in lots of markets hmm. we are focused only in india hmm. and we have a really solid business model hmm. which really solves the pain point real pain points of the customer at an absolute level and the consumer sentiment the consumer demand is really very strong hmm. and the structure of the indian used car market is very different from uh, you know developed economies so there is no uh, you know there is no over supply situation here demand supply gap is always very large has been very large right so so and and uh, there is a lot of pent up demand in in this society if you look at the car sales numbers yeah so since uh, 2012 2013 hmm. the new car market has not uh, really you know really uh, grew the way it was expected so and if you look at the per capita personal passenger car penetration that number is just you know 25 right so very difficult to comment on the exact number but on the basis of some reports you know it hmm. should be anything between 25 to 30 hmm. right so the per capita personal passenger car penetration is really low people hmm. are uh, getting more and more disposable income and then that aspiration is there people are willing to spend more on their experience hmm. at the same time because of covid right people were reminded that cars are not just about moving from point a to point b it's also about some kind of you know peace of mind some kind yeah. of reliability yeah. on top of the experience and aspiration aspect so there is a lot of uh, pent up demand in the country as a whole hmm. so the used car market will keep growing it is hmm. it is uh, you know expected that so, over yeah. next 4 5 years the annual growth rate should be anywhere between 10 to 13% hmm. so that is the kind of growth we are expecting in the used car market so consumer demand is uh, really strong right so uh, structurally our market is very different from so what's markets. helped you is you didn't go into uh, we saw many people you know uh, expanding overseas then there was also a huge offline play and they also went into adjacent areas not just consumer right. to consumer right. selling and buying so we believe that the core problem of the category is like uh, the problem customer were facing regarding the quality of the car regarding the transparency hmm. and uh, having a seamless process where hmm. they can buy the car really seamlessly hmm. in a very straightforward and confident manner hmm. the car even the used car buying experience should be similar to like buying a new car hmm. right hmm. you shouldn't be worried about the quality the history hmm. the reliability or if anything goes wrong then who is going to take the accountability hmm. so that kind of confidence assurity and at the same time straightforwardness should be there hmm. right so our focus has always been there That without was, spamming customers without spamming without oh. changing aggressively right without mm. uh, hard selling without miss selling right mm. so solve for uh, this uh, 
you know, pain points in a real way, build that capability. Of course, that intent should be there, but that intent is not good enough. You need that capability also, hmm. so that you are in a position to deliver the desired level of quality and experience. So we have been always been focused on that part, that uh, we should be solving that at an absolute level, and uh, you know, we should uh, be able to reach us reach a state, right, where uh, there is absolute control over the quality and experience and that is not getting compromised once you start <coughs> scaling properly right so and, and once you are in that kind of position that kind of a state right mm. then the smaller problems are adjacencies right mm. so we believe that those are uh, low hanging fruits right mm. and uh, simpler problems to solve mm. so we believe that uh, you know first mm. we should be solving the harder problems mm. right and once you have solved the harder problems then uh, basically grabbing the low hanging fruits is mm. very easy right Right. But I'm going to come to the part where you spoke about how, you know, you're still seeing consumption that's very strong, which is interesting. I mean, uh, it passenger car sales, uh, we saw, I think, July uh, saw huge numbers. Yeah. But there is also concern about, uh, you know, inflation, uh, people cutting back on discretionary spend on how they will only spend on what is necessary and, you know, what is not nice to have. Right. So how is that going to impact you? So in case of uh, you know inflation or uh, uh, whenever there is any kind of recession hmm. so used car market is uh, always Ka it kind yeah, of yeah. So because many, people would rather spend on a used car than a new car one segment shift to the used car segment hmm. so the category has been kind of recession proof right? hmm. that is the perception about the category and that is proven again and again hmm. let's see what happens this time but Neeraj, you know, overall people are moving to EVs and this is something that the government is also pushing in a right. big way. How will this impact your business? Uh, our read is that uh, this should help our business hmm. because in EVs the complexity of the machinery is not that much as in the case of internal combustion engines. Hmm. So the dependence on the spare parts will not be you know, that high. Hmm. So the player like us will become more and more relevant in the market because then it will be just about the transparency and the you know, use customer experience, customer support, having the brand recognition. Are you already building a thesis for EVs within Spinny? Like are you building perhaps yeah, a platform to buy and sell? I mean, I. <laughs> We are still far away from yeah. used EV vehicles, exactly. but we still uh, have some time. Hmm. But yeah, when the when the time arrives, hmm. we will be ready by that. You don't see it as a risk to your business. Will be difficult to say anything with hundred percent surety, hmm. to be honest. But our guess is that uh, it should help our business. But will if it? If you look at platforms in the US, hmm. used car platforms in the hmm. US. EVs are trading on those platforms. Hmm. But will it mean that your mainstay uh, IC cars? It will, um, um, or you know, your petrol cars. It will kind of move to a B to C play rather than a C to C play, where you know you these cars are traded with perhaps companies or corporates who might want to use them. OEMs have different uh, you know priorities. Hmm. They have to keep reinventing. They have to keep you know uh, basically doing better and better research, hmm. better engine, hmm. better transmission. In hmm. case of EVs, better fuel cells, hmm. all hmm. those things, right? Hmm. So their focus is to as to how to keep building better and better cars, more and more efficient cars. Hmm. So that is where they want to focus. Hmm. Right? So, and, and we have uh, some advantage because of that. Right? Got it.